in high school, I was always attracted to art, but I never really thought of it as a career path. Throughout my course, I found art kept coming back. It wasn't more of a hobby anymore. Through a change of course, I realized that art was something I wanted to do. I always considered myself like a jack of all trades. I always wanted to like work with my hands in any direction, anything I can get my hands on and try to like learn. This includes graphic design. This includes some woodwork and actual sign painting and then contemporary work. It's all, it's brush, it's tools, meshing them all together and try to create something that I like. It makes me open to a lot of opportunities. I don't limit myself just on a paintbrush and just on an iPad pencil. I put those together to make the work I want to do. I want to go above and beyond. I just don't want to do or be put in this category of like, you're this or you're not that. Not limiting myself to the tools that I have is going to make me a better artist and grow. I always kind of like to cut the middleman in a way. I don't like waiting for others. I always like taking initiative and trying to get things done because at the end of the day, I'm the one holding myself responsible to my own success, not anyone else. What keeps me inspired and motivated is the need to learn some new technique, a new practice, something that I've seen someone do, but I wanna make it in my own way. What keeps me motivated is there's always something to learn, it's always something to explore, a new idea, a new possibility. Maybe I should rethink this way, change my perspective. What I did before wasn't working now. Now I wanna keep growing from that idea. The influences I use definitely have to do with real life situations, especially letter work. A lot of things out there, just walking down the streets of San Francisco, seeing block letter sign, seeing the shadows being casted on it, seeing 3D signs itself, that is what I look for when I'm walking around. If you've ever been with me on a walk, I've always looked around and say, hey, look at that. Look, do you see that? Do you see the texture on that? Those real world experiences do play a part of, of what I create. To me, being a successful painter is more than just pushing paint on wood. I've had to learn the business side of this craft, such as sending invoices, marketing, documenting, and maintaining client relationships in order to push my business forward. I think I'm an exemplary artist who is living proof that the labor of love in one's craft is to be respected, and it's my legacy to uphold the standard of quality work for the next generation to keep alive.